Hello from Seoul! I think many of you guys already know the tteokbokki recipe but sadly, to some of you, there's no way to get the rice cake for tteokbokki, right? As always, don't worry about it. I'm here for you guys. I'm pretty sure this video will be your solution. Let's get started. I've been asked for a long time like, Aaron, how can I make rice cake? Is there anything I can replace it? You know what? I was going to show you the substitutes for the rice cake because making rice cake is gonna be so hard and takes a lot of time. But I wasn't satisfied with the substitutes so I just ended up deciding to make two kinds of rice cake for tteokbokki. I wanna say it's so easy so try sometimes but I can't say it. Although there's a Korean grocery around you, if you still insist on making your own to save some money, don't even think about it. It's way harder than you think. For two types of rice cake, we need this rice flour. There would be no problem if you can get this kind of product which is made in Korea but if you use different kinds of rice flour, I can't say what's gonna happen to your rice cake. The reason why I'm telling you this is there are so many kinds of rice flour in Amazon but I'm not sure they are made of short grain rice. So we're gonna make rice cake from scratch which means we're going to make rice flour too. As you guys already know, I don't really like to cook something that requires a lot of effort but I'm doing this for you guys. You guys should know how much I love you. First of all, put 4 cups of short grain rice in a bowl and wash them. To cook steamed rice, usually we need to wash them about 3 times but when you make rice flour, it should be more than that. We need to wash it until the water drains clear. For information, I did it 8 times. After that, we need to soak the rice in clean water at least 8 hours which means we should do this before you go to bed, right? And one more thing you should know about this is when the temperature is high like July or August, you better change the water after 4 hours hours. Otherwise, it might smell bad. So I recommend you to put this in the fridge. Then you can sleep. Sweet dreams. Please drain the water with a strainer. Usually, we need to dry them for about an hour but we already spent more than 8 hours to get this. So let's save some time here. Get rid of the moisture with paper towels. Or you can use a clean towel too. In this step, you don't have to wipe every single grain of the rice. Otherwise, you will be wiped out after this. If you think it's too wet and you don't have enough time, you can use a hair dryer. I'm serious. This time, let's grind the rice with a coffee grinder or food processor. If you put too much at once, it doesn't work well just like mine. So please add the rice little by little. Sift the ground rice flour into a bowl. If they are too thick or large particles, grind them again until they can be sifted. You can store this in a freezer so I recommend you to make it as much as possible. Otherwise, you will repeat this painful process again. Now we've got rice flour so let's make rice cake. The first this one is called salto, which is made of rice flour only. It is a traditional rice cake and the texture will be chewier but if you boil too much, it gets mushy easily. The second one is called milto. It is made of wheat flour and rice flour. It really goes well with the sauce of tteokbokki and it doesn't get mushy easily. If you ever had tteokbokki from street vendors in Korea, I'm pretty sure it was milto. You can try both but after watching this video, you will know what to do. Let's make the first one. Put 2 cups of rice flour in a bowl. Add a half teaspoon of salt into 1 cup of hot water and mix it. Pour it little by little and mix it well. There might be some people who want to use their hands to make it faster but if you do that, you will see the people who work in the emergency room rather than a rice cake so make sure to use a spoon or spatula. If you mix it well, you should cover with a plastic wrap otherwise you will have a rock which tastes like rice. If you want to protect your teeth, please wrap it like this and make some holes with a fork. Let's microwave it for for 2 minutes. This time, take out the rice cake dough and mix it well. Let's microwave it for another minute. From now on, we're gonna repeat this step. You may wonder how many times you need to repeat this process but I can't say exactly because it totally depends on the output wattage of your microwave and how much moisture your dough contains. So please repeat this and check this out. For information, I did it 8 times and finally got this. You can also do this with a steamer but as always, I'm telling you the easiest and simplest way. If you want to steam it, you need a steamer and parchment paper so that it doesn't stick on the bottom. Plus, you will get more dishes to wash. It's a disaster. Making this rice cake itself is a pretty big deal. So I don't want to make more things to do here. Spread a little bit of sesame oil on the cutting board. It is to prevent rice cake from sticking to it. If you don't have sesame oil, you can just use any cooking oil you have as long as it doesn't have strong flavor. It's time to blow off your steam. We're gonna pound it with a bat. If you have an 
annoying person around you, draw that person's face in this dough and smash it. The longer you do, the more chewy rice cake you will get. So please bring some more people's faces. Don't you dare, you imagine my face. Let's make the shape. Just roll it like this and cut it into the shape of tteokbokki. That's it. If you wanna make different shape of tteokbokki like your own style, you can do that too. No worries. You can cook tteokbokki with this right now or store in the freezer and take it out whenever you want. If you have honey, please try this with honey when it's warm. That's the beauty of this rice cake but I forgot to do that. So Claire was pissed off. This time, let's make miltok that contains wheat flour. Personally, I prefer tteokbokki made of this miltok because I like street style tteokbokki more and I think this is easier to make when you are out of Korea because you need less rice flour so I recommend you to make this one. Since the ratio is very important here like baking so let me tell you the exact amount of each ingredient. You will be needed 220 gram of all-purpose flour, 75 gram of rice flour, add a half teaspoon of salt into 150 milliliter of water. This time it doesn't have to be hot water just like the first one pour it little by little and mix it. Now it's time to pound the dough. Again, this step is the most important for chewy texture so if you pound longer, you will get better rice cake. Which means you need to do this until you can even lift your finger. So I strongly recommend you to use a stand mixer if you have. But unfortunately, I don't have it so let my hands suffer. It's very sad to think of you guys who will have difficulty making this rice cake. I wish I could just send you a package of rice cake because I know this is painful. Put this dough in a Ziploc and rest it in the fridge for about an hour to get a better texture but this step is not necessary if you don't want to wait you can skip it place the dough on a cutting board and roll out the dough cut it into the rectangular shapes with a knife and make the shape of rice cake you can make it long or short it's all up to you personally i like the texture like noodles so let me make it long this time let's boil it for 10 minutes and cool it down in ice water that's it if you want to keep it in a freezer spread some sesame oil and store it then you can enjoy tteokbokki and anytime you want. To be honest, I was going to show you how to make rice cake only because I already posted tteokbokki recipe video but if I do that, I know you will be so sad about it. So let me show you the easiest version of tteokbokki with those two rice cakes and let's ask Claire which rice cake works better for tteokbokki. You will be needed fish cake, onion, cabbage and green onion. You can skip everything but there has to be green onion right? I can't give it up. It doesn't matter how you cut it so just cut it into bite sizes. Let's Let's make the sauce for tteokbokki. Put 1 tablespoon of gochujang, Korean chili paste, 2 tablespoons of chili pepper flakes, 1 tablespoon of sugar, a half tablespoon of minced garlic, some black pepper, and 1 tablespoon of water in a bowl. In the previous video, I told you to put this tashida, kind of Korean beef stock, because most street vendors use this for their tteokbokki. But this time, let me replace it with chicken stock, because some of you told me it's difficult to get. If you don't have chicken stock either, you can replace it with soy sauce or oyster sauce. Pour 1 cup of water in a pan and boil it with a sauce. When it starts to boil, put everything all at once including the rice cake. Some people say what to put first or later is important, but it doesn't matter. If you see street vendors, cooking they actually boil it all day so no worries I'm gonna put a boiled egg each because if you break it and eat it with a sauce that's gonna be the best so don't miss it now all you need to do is just keep stirring it when the sauce gets thicker it's done let's call our taste tester Claire yeah <laughs> <laughs> <웃음> 이게 밀떡으로 만든 떡볶이고 이게 쌀떡으로 만든 떡볶이구나. 비주얼이 확실히 다르긴 다르네. 자, 1번부터. 오동통하니 맛있어 보이네. <웃음> 음. 음. 스토어로 해도 맛있는데 전혀 차이 없다. 맛있어. 음. 밖에서 사 먹는 쌀 떡볶이랑 비교해 봤을 때 조금 더 물컹물컹한 느낌이 있어. 음. 약간 좀 아쉬워 그런 부분에서. 그래도 그럴듯하다. 나쁘지 않은데? 응. 자기 예전에 실험할 때 뇨끼로 만들어 봤었잖아. 그 느낌이야. 2% 뭔가 부족하다고 했던 그 쫄깃함 있지? 여기서 딱그 느낌이 느껴져. 고생해서 이거 만들 바에는 차라리 나라면 뇨끼를 사서 해 먹는 게 맞을 것 같아. 음. 이거네. 밖에서 사 먹었을 때 느낌이 여기에 더 비슷하네. 90% 정도는 비슷한 것 같아. 조금 그것보다 약간은 좀 딱딱해.
딱딱해. 근데 그래도 그 어느 정도의 식감이 상당히 비슷해. 딱딱한 건 조금 더 오래 끓이면 괜찮을 것 같아. 음. 이것 봐. 되게 탄성 있고 괜찮잖아. 그치? This is it! I like this one better. Today we made rice cake in two ways. I really hope this recipe will be a great help to people who can get it. But I have to say, if there is a Korean grocery selling rice cakes near your place, don't even think about making it. Seriously, I warned you. Some people might say it can be a good experience, but I dare say it's not. You will understand why this is hard to get and expensive out of Korea. Sorry guys, I couldn't give you positive energy as usual. It was so painful. Alright, this is it for today and I'll see you next time. Time.